Guess what we doing today? You girls, you can't eat all the ingredients before we make the cookies. Stop eating ingredients! So you guys may have seen this adorable trend going on on the internet where people are taking snowman cookies and replacing the heads with photos of their children. We want to take this one step further. We are going to make some snowman cookies and then do a cute little photo shoot with the dog. That's what we're going to be doing today. What we want you guys to do, if you make these and do a little photo shoot with your pets, be it your dogs, your cats, or your kids, post it, tag us on Instagram so we can see what yours look like. Let's get into making some simple snowman treats. Preheat your oven to 350. So the first thing we will be doing, mixing all of the wet ingredients in a bowl, which starts off with three quarters of a cup of unsweetened applesauce. Yes, unsweetened applesauce. You don't need all the extra sugars because you girls are sweet enough. Aww. They're like, mom, dad joke is not that funny. All right, let's put it in a bowl. Please don't eat it all. Here, here you go. Clean the bowl. There you go. Make soaps and water. Next, we will be adding one quarter cup of peanut butter. I'm using smooth peanut butter. You can use chunky. Chunky peanut butter makes it a little bit harder to roll out. Okay, I think I need two hands and a spoon. Peanut butter's in. Somebody's waiting for a bite. Here you go. Good stuff. Yeah. All right. Let me let me get some for Memphis. Ready for your bite? Good stuff. Excuse me, ma'am. Can't eat all the ingredients. She's like, oh, but I can. So the next thing we will be adding is a quarter of a cup of bone broth. I'm using open farm beef bone broth. Memphis, I, I think you got it off the counter. Kira, don't you dare. Hey, don't you dare. All right, get here, move. Look, I'm pouring it in. Here you go, lick this bowl. It's way better. She's like, oh man, you wasn't wrong. Here, you wanna try some? Excuse me. I'm gonna have to add lots more stuff if you eat all the stuff. <laughs> and last but not least, one egg. She's going for it again. Quick, hurry, block her. No, no, don't eat them all. Okay, fine, you wanna lick that? Of course you do. How about you, Memphis, you wanna try some? She's like, I do, I do wanna try some. Stop eating all the ingredients. <laughs> uh, so hopefully they didn't uh, mix up the mixture too much, but now we're gonna mix this all together. Kinda looks like uh, oatmeal. It's not, but we are actually using oat flour for this. So the next thing we will be adding is two cups of oat flour. You could use wheat flour or a gluten-free flour if you would like. And then one half a teaspoon of baking powder. You don't wanna eat that. You don't wanna eat that either. Did you don't want to eat all the raw ingredients? Oh my goodness. What are we going to do with her? She's like, I would totally eat the raw flowers as well. No, we're going to pour it into here and then mix it together. Oh, don't forget, add the baking powder. And then you can start to stir it with a spoon and then eventually I will have to go to my hands. And we want this to form a nice dough ball that we can then roll out into our treats. What, do you think it's funny? You think it's funny? So because the dogs ate half of the wet ingredients, I'm gonna have to, have to add a little bit more wet. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more bone broth to this to get that doughy consistency. Since you girls drank half the wet ingredients. So now we have the perfect little dough ball. Do you girls want to try a little bit of the raw dough? They're like, oh, yes, please. We would like to try all of it. Okay, you first, because you're so patient. And there you go. Good stuff? Yeah, you could probably lick half of it off my fingers. Can we roll it out and make cookies now? You both are gonna have to get down for this because otherwise we won't have anything left when we try to roll it out. Which means it's time for my favorite rolling mat and my favorite rolling pin. Amazon links for all this in the video description below. Flour the surface, roll out the dough. And then take your snowman cookie cutters and cut out some pieces. So we have some snowman cut out. Now remember, I said I was going to take off the heads so that I can replace the heads with the dogs in photos. So I'm actually going to cut off a few of these before I even bake them, just to make it easier. And there we go, some without heads, some with heads. Now we're gonna pop these in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. So I feel like now is the perfect time to remind you guys, hey, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell to turn on all notifications so you'll know whenever we upload new videos. Also as a reminder, this is a treat. 
not a meal replacement, it's a treat. If you have smaller dogs, you can make these smaller. You don't have to make these big giant cookies like we did. With the leftover dough, I'm gonna make a bunch of little bite-sized cookies for the dogs. Oh, but wait, before we taste them, we gotta decorate them. Out of the oven, time to cool so we can decorate them. To decorate, we're gonna use white yogurt coating melting wafers. I'm gonna melt them in here, and then we're gonna put them on here. And what are we using for the buttons? Carob. Say it with me now, not chocolate, carob. Dipped and shaken off, the white looks pretty good. And then we add the carob buttons. And we have faces on snowmen. Oh my goodness, they turned out so cute. Now, see if we can do a photo shoot with the dogs with some of these. All right, ready for your photo shoot? We're all set up, let's see if we can get a good photo. You ready here? Yeah. Good girl. So we're gonna try to do something like this and take some photos. All right, we gotta wait. get some snowman Listen. pictures of you. We can do this, right? Oh, yeah. That's a good. You're gonna look so cute. Oh my goodness, we did it! <laughs> How was that photo shoot, girls? You're like. That was complicated, but we pulled it off. Now can we eat a cookie? Yes, you both did so good, you can now eat a cookie. These are huge though. So I don't know how we're gonna do this. Ready? You grab one and you grab one. You're gonna eat it here or you're gonna take it with you? Here, let me hold it for you. Here you go. Bite his head off. There you go. Got some pieces. Memphis, you eat so fast. This is like, mine is gone. Oh my goodness, look, it's so crunchy. Is it super crunchy? Kira's like, I'm gonna eat mine down here as well. Yeah, is that the better place to do it? <laughs> okay, maybe I didn't think this through. Maybe I should have broke it up for him. There, I broke it up for you, what do you think? Is that easier? Memphis's is gone. Memphis is like, I can eat it, I don't have a problem. Good stuff, Kira? Let's say that was a win. All right, you guys, as I said before, if you end up taking pictures, please tag us on Instagram. We would love to see how your photos turned out. Merry, Merry Christmas from all of us here at Gone to the Snow Dogs. They were like, we're, we gotta clean everything up that we dropped over here. Oh no, behind the scenes. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Say goodbye, audience. Boop. Boop. <laughs>